dreams every night. A few can even do this while consciously awake as a remote viewer and astral travelers have shown. In the Ringing Cedar books, Anastasia shares why many of the planets and stars are vacant. It is because they are being reserved for us to have our own world to create with our love, with our loved ones and our children. Like Jewel says in one of her songs called Father Daughter, Father's Daughter, soon I will be another star in this family's constellation. You are now ready to expand your parents' empire in co-creation, in creating an, your own universes and worlds within worlds to infinity. Feel free to paint with a canvas of stars and worlds and will and we will be able to go out to other worlds and help other races with our degrees in problem solveology. We are familiar with the term of a hundred monkey effect on Earth, but let's expand that out to the universe as well as the, in the avatar way of doing things. There is a watcher watching out of us, and when we learn something that can help life, we step away from our telescope and tell the others of our new discovery then all the other watchers can experience life through other forms. And all, everybody grows and changes. This is also what we can call evolution, but really it's not that at all. It's just tapping into the collective consciousness as everybody is working together as a team. When one learns something, everybody learns something. Uh, so when I, I learn something here on Earth, and the whole universe collects that as well. And... Uh, there are the, the aura of the planet it emanating our energy is going throughout the universe as well. They're very aware of what's going on here on Earth through that. Maybe this gives you a better idea why I like to say every life you, you have ever lived has prepared you for this one. This life is where we live and become aware of every other life. Now that is some serious multitasking. <laughs> And now you know why I am totally and utterly in love with humanity. And now you know how beautiful and awesome you actually are. And why I decided to, to, and why I decided to dedicate my life to you in service. Well, free. I have often said, if you could only see what I see when I look at you, then people have often come back and asked, well, what do you see? Well, now you know. I am grateful for all of your letters and warmth. Thank you so much so very much for being with me. Thank you so very much for you being you. In a love that transcends the illusions of time and space, I remain Jessica. We are the answer to our prayers. All mystical things aside, guys, what is most important to me and what I value most is kindness and equality. And it is kindness and equality. That is the most important thing and what matters most. Thank you.